Christmas bells ring, ring Swing in my shopping bag, sing in Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to do a Christmas Eve makeup look. I am videoing this on Christmas Eve here in New Zealand. It's a really hot day and I thought I would try out a new product that I just bought. This isn't, an, well it is a new release and it sort of is and it isn't. So it's from the Tom Ford The Lost Cherry Collection and it's the Body Heat Quad. So the actual quad itself isn't a new release but they have put it out in new packaging and I also picked up a couple of new Tom Ford lipsticks and they aren't new releases either but they look like really gorgeous nudes so I thought I'd pick them up because I really love the Tom Ford lipstick. Now I've already put my primer on, it's the Sisley Double Tensure one and now I'm just going to pop on some foundation. It is a Tom Ford foundation and I haven't used this for a little while because I really love the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. I think that is a gorgeous foundation and I can wear it in summer as well and today it is really hot. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day outside and when I'm not talking you'll be able to hear the birds outside. I sort of get used to them but it can get quite noisy. So the foundation I'm going to use is the Tom Ford. It's the Traceless Soft Matte one. I bought this quite a few months ago now and it was really lovely in the winter so I'm hoping it's going to last really well today. It's in the shade 5.6 in Ivory Beige. This isn't a new foundation but for those that haven't seen it this is what it looks like and you can see that I have used a fair bit considering how many foundations that I have. So I'm just going to put a couple of pumps on the back of my hand and I'm going to use the BK Beauty 101 foundation brush today to put this on. This has a fragrance and it smells exactly the same as the Shade and Illuminate foundation. I don't mind the fragrance. I think it smells really, really nice. So as I was saying at the beginning of the video, today is Christmas Eve and I'm just looking at the time. It's quarter past one in the afternoon and yesterday I did quite a lot of prep for our Christmas Eve dinner because we have Christmas Eve dinner instead of on Christmas Day. That's for Tony, me and our son Harrison because on Christmas morning we head over to dad's probably about 10 or 11 in the morning so we like to just as our immediate family have a nice Christmas Eve dinner and we've done it for a few years now and then after the Christmas dinner that's when we open each other's presents so yesterday I'm trying to think what I made so yesterday I put on a leg of lamb and roasted that and I'm going to take that cold tomorrow when I well when we all head over to dad's place and I also made two trifles one for us and one to take over to dad's as well there will be a few other family members at dad's place I have three brothers I don't have any sisters so my nieces and nephews sort of range in age my youngest niece is 11 years old and my oldest niece is, I think she's 18, or she turned 19 this year, I can't remember. So until they get to the age of 21, we do buy gifts. So for Madison, she is the youngest one. We bought two or three different things. Apparently she's really into science and experiments so we bought a couple of experiment kits for her i also picked up a jigsaw puzzle for her and tony bought her a couple of water guns um she thought that my brother her dad and her would have great fun in the summer playing with those water guns and for valerie she's the older of the nieces the one that's 18 or 19 um, I got her uh, eyeshadow palette 
Last year I picked her up. It was a holiday edition Too Faced eyeshadow palette and she just loved it. She's right into her makeup. So I picked her up another Too Faced eyeshadow palette and this year I got her, I think, is it called the Cinnamon Rolls one? I had a look at it and I wouldn't have mind keeping it and trying it out. It looks really, really nice. I haven't bought any Too Faced products for me for quite a while and I wouldn't mind picking some up because I do have a couple of their eyeshadow palettes. They're quite old now, but I really like them. And then I have two nephews and one is about 23 years old now, so don't buy a present for him. And then the other nephew, he's about 20 years old, so Tony picked him up something. It's some sort of guy thing some sort of multi-tool thing that he'll probably like. So I left that up to Tony. I usually do leave it up to him to pick up those presents. I'm just going to put a bit of concealer on my face as well. I'm going to use the Tom Ford. It's the Shade and Illuminate one. I find this concealer a little bit heavy for under my eyes, but I really like it for on my face. Now I have tried it many different ways under my eyes, the tiniest amount, but it is just that little bit too heavy and can end up looking a little bit cakey, but it is beautiful on my face. I've now put on my eyeshadow primer. I've also done my eyebrows. I've powdered under my eyes and also my face as well. And like usual, everything that I'm putting on my face today, I will put in the description box below. So now I'm going to bronze. And this is the Tom Ford, this is the Glow Bronzer in Terra. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to use the Tom Ford bronzing brush as well for this. This is more of a, sort of a subtle type of bronze for me. But I do really like this bronzer. I think it blends beautifully. And since I was wearing quite a few of other Tom Ford products today, I thought I would pull this out as well. So now let's take a look at this eyeshadow quad. Here is the packaging that it comes in. As I was saying at the beginning of the video, this isn't a new eyeshadow quad itself. It's just the packaging that it came in. And I didn't have the quad, this one, and this is in the shades of Body Heat. And I didn't have this one, so I thought I would pick it up. It is made in Italy. And I'll just give it a wipe down. It does come in a red type velvet pouch as well. So here is the outside packaging. It is really beautiful. It's from that Lost Cherry collection type of colouring. And it has really lovely rose gold at the end there. And inside the quad, I'll show it to you in case you haven't seen this colour story before. I'll just take out the brushes and the plastic covering. So I will swatch these on my arm for you so you can take a look. So this one is a peach. This one is a reddish brown, and this one is a taupe, and this one here is a brown. These three are shimmers, and this one possibly more of a satin. So I'm going to take the Raffa number 15 brush, and I'm going to first go into that taupe shade. If it's like the other Tom Ford quads that I have. I haven't really bought, I don't know whether I've actually even bought any new release Tom Ford quads this year. The quads that I've got in my collection are more of the older ones and the formula of those is really, really lovely. I did pick up the Tom Ford quad 
it's called Mirage Mink or Mink Mirage and that's got all mattes in it which I really like because sometimes with some of the Tom Ford quads since they are all shimmers and these satins I like to be able to use uh, matte sometimes as well but for today I'll just solely use this quad and the headband that I'm wearing <laughs> it's not what I'm going to be wearing once I've finished this video I just picked it up I picked up some new clothes today and the designer also had some headbands as well and I thought that would make a nice change from just having my hair in a hair tie while I'm putting up makeup in my videos just to keep my hair out of the way. So I'm going to use the refer number three and that same shade. I'm going to put that on my lower lash line as well. I'll probably put the brown shade under here too. And I'm going to go into that reddish brown shade. And I'm going to use my refer number 14. There seems to be quite a bit of pigment in these. Then I'm going to go into the brown shade. This is the Sonia G. It's the soft shader. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner. And just slightly above, but still just keeping on the outside. So this morning I made something for our Christmas dinner tonight as well. I made white chocolate mousse and it has a shortbread crumb that you can sprinkle on top. And that is just shortbread biscuits. And then they're just smashed up. And then you put lemon zest on them and some melted butter. And they just go in the oven wouldn't even be for 10 minutes just until they slightly brown and it makes a really beautiful topping on the mousse and the lemon sort of cuts through the sweetness a bit so it's quite nice to have a bit of that sour lemon taste as well and then with the refer number three again with that same shade that I've just put on I am going to just run that under my lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to use that reddish brown shade again. And I'm going to use the Sony G. It's the Builder 3. And I'm going to put that just on the inner part here. I'm going to put the lighter shade over top of this one. So last night I also made a pavlova. So really yesterday and then this morning I've done what I needed to do. And yesterday morning I got up really early. I got up at 5 o'clock and was at the supermarket by 7 o'clock in the morning. That was yesterday morning because it just gets so busy this time of the year. So this morning even though I had to make the mousse that wasn't really a hard job to do. And really until I started this video, it's actually been really relaxing. And that's how I like Christmas Eve to be. Christmas Eve is probably one of my favorite times of the year, more so than actual Christmas Day. I just find Christmas Eve is just, well for us, it's just really relaxing on the lead up to Christmas Day. And I will have to put Christmas dinner on later this afternoon. I'll probably put it on about three or half past three. We're having slow cooked its um, pork belly that Harrison and Tony really love. So really that's not that difficult either with roasted vegetables. So I'll pop that on and that takes about three and a half hours, maybe a little bit more to cook. And that means dinner will be ready probably around about seven o'clock. And Tony just gave me a call before and he is heading home from work. He's finished court this morning and he will be home and just relax. And when I finish this video, we'll have a bit of lunch together. 
it's not going to be a lot of lunch because there's going to be a lot to eat this evening but it's really just a nice time for us to sit down and just relax and chill out and he'll be really pleased that I've put the air conditioning on in the other room because it is really really hot here today. So now I'm just going to go into the lighter shade and I'm going to use the Chukahodo brush, it's the F061 and I'm going to put that over the top of that reddish brown. I'm just going to take the Sony G, it's the Blender Pro, I've picked up a little bit more of that brown shade because I just don't want to lose that. And I'm just going back to the original brush that I used, the Rafa 15, just to go over it all and soften everything up so there's no harsh lines. So this is going to be my Christmas Eve makeup and I think it looks really nice. It is a really lovely colour story. These are my type of colours anyway, these are the ones that I really, really love. So now I'm going to take the Chukahodo as the F08 brush, go into that darker shade again, and I'm going to use this shade to line my upper lash line. I think it will be deep enough to be able to do that. And then finally, I'm going to just put a touch more on my lower lash line, and I'm going to use the Sonia G, it's the soft shader. So I've got my mascara on and I'm going to now use a Tom Ford blush. It's one of the new ones and I picked this up and I haven't tried it yet. And I got this in 01 Brazen Rose. So I will still got the plastic covering on it. Here she is. I think this looks really, really pretty and I think this is going to go really, really beautifully with this eyeshadow. So first of all, I'm going to go into the darker shade and put that on first. I do have one of the other newer Tom Ford blushes. I can't remember the name of it now, but I really liked it. I thought it was a really pretty blush. Then I'm going to go into the lighter colour and just pop that on top. That is a really, really beautiful combination. This is a gorgeous blush. I think it's really, really pretty. And then next is lipstick, and I picked up two of these. These aren't new releases. They are the two shades, number 60 Bad Lieutenant and number 13 Blush Nude. They are just in the usual Tom Ford packaging. And then the actual packaging for the lipsticks, just the usual colouring, but really, really beautiful. I do love Tom Ford packaging. I think it is really really beautiful so i'm going to swatch these on the back of my hand so this one is blush nude which is has a very lovely pink color to it and this one is bad lieutenant and this one is also pinky but probably leans more towards has a little bit of rose coloring in it but not too much. So I think I'll put on a lip liner. I'm just going to grab out of the drawer the Charlotte Tilbury, the Pillow Talk one. And then I've swatched the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk liner on my hand and it would go beautifully with either shade. So I'm just going to pop some of this on. And then for today, I think I'm going to go with the colour Blush Nude. So here is the finished look. That lipstick is beautiful. I really like nude type pink sort of lipsticks. I think they are just really soft, really feminine and 
pretty. The foundation is holding up really well and I think it looks really good. I really like this eyeshadow quad and I'm glad I picked it up. And it wasn't just for the packaging, although the packaging is really beautiful, but I do like the color story. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and perfect for my Christmas Eve look. The blush is really beautiful too and is a really great match with the lipstick. It's just a really, even though it had that deeper shade underneath, it's lightened with the second shade and it just gives a very soft, just really pretty look. And as I said, I think the lipstick is really pretty too and the formula is just gorgeous. So that's it for today's video. Merry Christmas everyone. I'm going to edit this video and put it up tonight. Tony should be home any minute and we will have some lunch together and just have a really relaxing Christmas Eve. And again, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and watches my video. I really appreciate you all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye. Ring, ring the Christmas bells, ring.